I'm Super Montero, and in today's video, I'm so excited to be talking to my Geminis. Hello, Geminis. How are you doing today? The way this video is going to be working is the first half is going to be checking in with your energy and the story behind that, and the second half is going to be checking in with you and another person's energy and the story behind that. So let's get started. This is for my sun, moon, rising signs whatever it's all about the message resonating so let's get started first your energy oh i love this this is what i would like to call and i'm going to pull the story while we're chatting this is what i would like to call success in the way people don't understand they actually need so let me put my deck over there Okay, I can, I will look at this. Ooh, someone else is coming in. Okay. Okay, sorry, I was about to go, I'm just reading this. Anyways, um, let's get into this first. So let's talk about the energy popping up. This is the different type of, everyone when they think of success, thinks of like big bountiful amounts of money and they've got their dream partner and they think of this big sort of um, almost explosive type of energy of like dream life and everything like that. But on the day to day, and that continues into, you know, this big explosive sort of energy, that sort of balance that we seek and can master, when you're in that sort of flow, it really adds up in other factors of your life and you feel a deep sense of contentment, bliss, happiness, sense of confidence, control. You're just like in it. You've got, you're a master of it in all departments. We have you over here in the queen of cups emotionally and intuition wise. This is somebody who understands, yeah, there can be ups and downs, but instead of getting caught in the riptide, they're able to surf between the two and see neither as the main dominant, dominating emotional factor in their life. Um, you just kind of are able to see that in others yourself you're really in touch and keep going you're doing great over here we have you balancing work home life understanding when it comes to the physical world and getting things done you you know what to do you know how to get involved when not to get involved you know when to give your focus in an area and when to let go and give yourself that relaxation again master in all departments i imagine you're feeling pretty great right now in that department and keep it up and keep heading in that direction it's working for you but if you're not quite there yet and this is more of a predictive toward of th sort of thing we're popping up we can actually get into specifics of why you feel good or why you will soon feel good so um i've actually been talking about this a lot lately so it's interesting this popped up this is about a promise being broken but this is a good thing so a lot of people don't know this, but you carry things like promises, vows, when you say like that you swear about something, all of these things bind you and stay on your soul forever until you do something about it. Now you can easily do something about it and remove that and I will give you the instructions right now um, about it. But in when we make these declarative statements at some point in our past lives this lifetime whatever we unknowingly set ourselves limitations or prevent us to have stuff this way sometimes people are like man i don't know why i keep experiencing x y and z like over and over again am i just not getting the lesson i thought i am why do i always attract these kind of people and sometimes you in this particular case it is the case um you made some sort of vow a long time ago and it gets carried over here you know what i mean like that that's a very inexplainable frustrating feeling so we can talk about how you will be removing this which i love um i am being told there's a feeling of it being actually something that's happening in this lifetime so that's great we can cut it off before it builds up into other situations so the way you get rid of this is you just simply Take a quiet moment to yourself after this video. You're just silent. And you can improv, you can say any way you want, but it's a declarative statement you say out loud. You would say something like, Spirit, if it's in my highest good, I remove all promises, vows, anything I've ever sworn to. I unbind myself. 
I send back all soul fragments that I've been carrying and I send it with light and love back. And then you just take a moment and you meditate on that and you allow it to really sink in and let your inner workings um, and your subconscious make that all happen essentially. And it's really, it's really honestly just as simple as that and you will have a grand effect from it. But it's interesting that um, I naturally felt drawn to saying the returning soul fragments and returning this sort of energy back to sender because that's a big thing that pops up and this is where this other person gets involved. Now, if this other person pops up in the um, second half of the spread, I would not be be surprised and we will get into specifics about that but we're focusing on your story and situation so this is you returning it back to sender i don't know if you know this but sometimes we carry other people's energy other people's problems and we can give that back to them and say this is your own karma this is your own issues this is yours to solve no matter how people might make you think that way it's just not the case it's all everyone deals with their own situations essentially throughout life forever so this is you realizing this promise, saying, I'm not gonna, I'm breaking this, this isn't something, or I'm not breaking it, I'm, I can get things done without having made such contracts on my very well-being. And I'm removing myself from them, I'm tearing them up, not my problem anymore, I'm giving it back to you, it's your issue. So this is where all that sense of balance and feeling good comes in and just feeling like you're free in an inexplainable way and life working out for you in a way that you're like, wow, how is, did this suddenly get so easy overnight? It's because you're finally free of something you didn't even know was holding you back. Now I can see over here, there is somebody who's been putting this on to you. They're really focused on you. They're not really doing anything in their own personal life, but they're really like focused on you. They're not heading towards you. They're focused on you. This is mostly due to this eight of cups and reverse feeling. It's like they're making a lot of effort in their life. And we talk about planning, it's like the intention, they're trying. But, and this is them not moving towards you. They're not going to come towards you. You're not going to have to interact with them. But they're thinking about, it. they're like looking at you. They're, they're, they're very focused. But in their own personal life, there's a lot of moving around. There's a lot of trying to make efforts. And it just doesn't seem to be adding up to anything, unfortunately. And I do feel for them in that regard. But they see you and you are moving mountains and you are accomplishing things on a spiritual and emotional level that is then manifesting in the physical and, uh, well, I guess you could see your well-being. It's very visible, which is great. And then this is when we get this sort of energy going in the Seven of Wands. This is you having to fight back that energy and you're giving it back. Now, I do want to clarify that this can refer to like people being up in your space, but I'm getting much heavier sense of energy popping up. It's like this energy coming at you. Don't be surprised if you're at home, nothing's happening, and you're like, oh my goodness, why is my throat chakra hurting? Why do I feel off? Why does it feel like I'm being surrounded? It's this energy, and you are making the decision and having the realization that you can send it back and you're like, I'm not, this is not my problem. I'm giving it back to you. Um, I am being told that there will be traveling in this other this other person effect, trying to affect you's department. So they will be either like, maybe they'll be moving out of town or going on a trip or something like that. There's like a sense of leaving. They're, they're not going to be here anymore, which is um, just like an added benefit because they're not affecting you to begin with. But there is a sense of you having to like push back and be like, no, no, you know what I mean? So let's look at this energy. I'm curious if it's not with this other person. Okay, yeah, I definitely feel this is with another person. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Sorry about the sounds. I'm just, it'll give me a moment to think. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they are coming through over here in energy. It is the same person we're talking about. Um, there is a very good, should I just pause this? I kid you not, the second I paused this, it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll edit out the in-between so you don't have to hear that for too long. Okay, anyways, back to the um, in-between. We're wishing them the best, though. So we have their energy, uh, the energy with you popping up and that repeated factor of, like, you're doing great, you're doing a good job, uh, continuing on from the last spread. So this is why it helps to talk about both your personal situation and the other person because it makes a lot of sense how we unknowingly affect people. 
So I'm getting a sense that this is somebody that has been super close to you in your life. Um, they are not happy. It seems like they are trying to form some sort of like community or something. And it just, it's this feeling like it's off. It's, something's not working. There's a feeling of wanting to brush their issues under the rug, so to speak, and be like, oh no, I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm happy. And they're acutely aware it's not working and things just feel off and they just keep focusing on it and focusing on it and focusing on it and focusing on it and that is where the overwhelming energy comes in and that sort of mentality that they want to put upon you and this is you say this isn't working you're bothering me i don't want it no more no thank you i'm giving it back i'm sending it back so we can get more specific than that on over here. So it seems like the thing that's so interesting about both of these being in reverse is when they are upright, they're actually incredibly positive cards. So it's this feeling when it's in reverse of like, it's like they have the thing they wanted, whatever this end goal may be, this concept that they're trying to achieve and try to include you in, but it's like something's off. It's just, it's like they got what they wanted, but was it what they wanted? And they are feeling off and they're, they're not loving it and it's frustrating them. It's especially frustrating them when we see the queen of pentacles, this is you. You are thriving. You have really figured out your belief system. You're really fostering it, giving it love, working on it, just having a grand old time, thriving. You're very happy. Um, you're just really I mean, earthy energy is the perfect way to describe it with it being the queen of end pentacles. And you're just kind of sitting here enjoying life, seeing all these little seeds you've, so to speak, planted and opportunities and ideas growing and you're doing well and you're unshakable and unmovable even with this energy coming up. Now we can see that this grief and the sense of like, oh, I didn't get what they wanted is still surrounding you, but you're unaffected by it. But don't be surprised if you notice that energy is like there and you just want nothing to do with it, so to speak. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. In the Seven of Pentacles, we continue this sort of wonderful culmination and vibe between, behind you of saying like, keep doing what you're doing. The way you're handling the situation, the way you're handling life, just keep doing it. It's all going to work out in your favor. You're doing the right thing. Just keep going on. And it is the promise that these things that you're working on, it's almost this feeling of like, you know potential is on the horizon is the best way I like to put it. You know it's there. It's not quite coming in right yet, but it's right around the corner. So just don't get in your way. Don't overthink it. Just keep doing what you're doing because you're doing the right thing. But this is heavily interlocked with the moon card. This feels like very spiritual, magical energy. For some people, it might actually be magic in some cases for people who are practitioners. Um, this is a sense of like, inexplainable sort of some people like to describe it as self-help but i would describe it as like a combination of that and something more mystical it's like you're more connected to the universe you're more connected to yourself and this is you you're you're this uh you're the moon it kind of looks like the sun you're the moon and you're just thriving and feeling really good and down here is them they're frustrated they're chomping at the bit why are they doing so well why why can't i reach them this is frustrating for me and then down here is this knowledge and security that's awaiting them too. They think they can block it from you and stop it, but it's still going to head to you, no problem. It's something that you're easily connected with and it's just not going to be an issue. And they could have, they think this is something they have to stop you from having, but it's something they could have themselves and they're just not realizing and seeing it. they're more focused on being kind of hostile towards you rather than realizing how they can benefit themselves so just understand that you're thriving you're doing great you don't need any of this stuff it is super frustrating that they are being this way and being this way towards you and trying to put this energy your way but you will be unaffected unshaken everything's going to be a-okay and just fine in your department and i'm very happy for you in that regard so keep thriving sometimes people are this way what can you do and yeah if you liked this video please consider it a like comment and subscribe it helps out the channel like you would not believe uh maybe a share too i'm wishing you the best i will see you in the next one bye